tropical forecast starts now with Chief Meteorologist Eric Finkenbinder. Hey, we're back here in Chambersburg, uh, Seth and Valerie, and, and I, we should at least uh, show some of the uh, the ice. So I want to see, is there any way we can figure out what this may be? We'll get a shot here, and we've been studying this for a little while. This is actually one of the bigger sculptures, so they got a couple of them that they're working on for this evening. If you just want to enjoy a, a nice meal, which a lot of food, by the way, and there's a lot of people. I've never seen it this busy before, but that's because we're... <laughs> We're dressed for the weather. And speaking of weather, I just want to walk over here where we do have, yep, we've got the train, but you can actually see a lot of that is melting and it's just kind of slowly working itself out. So if you're here just for the ice, I would certainly try to get to them a little bit sooner than later as some areas actually warmed into the upper 60s. Now, earlier uh, I asked meteorologist Jackson Chastain about the official high temperature at Harrisburg National Airport and he said probably around 52 and I thought, Wow, okay, obviously a big temperature difference around the area. That's because some of us in Dolphin, Lancaster, Lebanon counties, we could never escape from the fog. Meanwhile, Adams, Franklin, Cumberland, mid-60s, even north of Harrisburg. Some of us in Mifflin, Junior, Perry, in northern Dolphin, we hit 60 degrees. So to show you the almanac for today, no matter what, if it's in the 50s or 60s where you are, it was a warm day. Last week at this time, we had blowing snow and we were in the teens. And now, again, just a sweatshirt, that's about it. So here's our precision cast temperatures because for a lot of us, we're gonna be staying above freezing overnight and then tomorrow is gonna be another mild day. It's not gonna be 60s, but we're going for a high of 50 degrees. We have to remember the average high is only around 38. So here's the surface map just to kind of show you everything in play. Everything's lifting up from the south, including more moisture. So we're going to have another round of rain. That's going to hold off until Saturday night. So a precision cast just to show you that as that rain arrives tomorrow, there are a lot of things that are happening here at Ice Fest, by the way, tomorrow. Uh, be sure to check them out. And I remember Dennis Owen still said free cupcakes. I'm still trying to get more information on that. But it's not until Saturday night when we see the rain. And then Sunday's going to be a raw kind of wet day with highs only near 40. And it is going to be quite damp. How much rain? I would say about a half inch to an inch of rain if you notice some of those totals into the area and then we clear it out for what seems to be a generally quiet week next week. So your temperature trends, even though the average high is 38, we're going to be above that for the rest of January and to the start of February and that seven day forecast shows that we are pretty quiet, which I didn't get on the, the seven day graphic, but Punxsutawney Phil will be giving us his official forecast by next Friday. But mine for Ice Fest, <laughs> again. I don't think we'll ever experience highs in the 60s again. You never know, but there's a lot of people responding to it, and there's a lot of people enjoying it here in Chambersburg.